Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Jerry. We're gonna be talking about lifting weights, gaining weight, and specifically with respect to women doing this stuff. I've got a question from Julie on my Facebook page here. Again, I'm just reading from my iPhone. Who asks, hey, Yuri, I'm wanting to add heavier weights to my strength training workout in order to gain more muscle. However, as a woman, I'm concerned that I will gain inches as a result. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you. Well, that's a great question, and it's a very common concern that has led millions and millions and millions of women to work out incorrectly. Here's the thing. Um, you want to gain muscle size, Julie does in this case, but she doesn't want to gain inches. Now, I'm assuming by inches she means fat, right? No one wants to gain fat. We all know that. But here's the thing. If you want, I mean, I'm just going to pick up, pick up the example of a friend of mine. One of my good friends' sister is very, very thin, very thin very uh, uh, slim boned, no matter what she eats, she won't put on weight, okay? That's just the way it is. So she's always asked me, like, Yuri, what can I do to gain weight? And I told her, I'm like, you, honestly, you have to go to the gym or work out at home with challenging weights where you're gonna break down your muscles, cause a lot of muscle damage so they can repair and grow, and you need to eat like a horse. That's, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, it's the same formula more calories in than calories out. Now, if you're looking to gain size, right, gain, put on some mass, most likely it's not just gonna be pure muscle. You're gonna put on a bit of fat. That's just the way it goes. So what can Julie do in this case to add on some, um, some more muscle without gaining inches? Well, I don't know necessarily, Julie, if you're looking to gain five or 10 pounds of muscle mass or if you just want a little bit more uh, muscle definition. So. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with the muscle definition kind of strength side for a second. You need to lift heavier weights, and I, I'm happy you mentioned that in your, in your question. You need to lift heavier weights, and I, as far as I'm concerned, all the gyms across the world should get rid of two and five pound dumbbells. Maybe five pounds is the very minimum that we would have. But anything lower than that should be disregarded because when in life are you carrying anything, maybe an iPhone obviously is an exception, or a pencil that is less than a couple pounds, right? There's no sense in doing bicep curls with two pound weights. That's gonna make you weaker, it's a waste of time, and it's just ridiculous, right? So women, you are not going to turn into bodybuilders unless you want to, uh, simply because you don't have enough testosterone, you have about 10% of the testosterone that we men have. So by doing the same type of training, and eating the same amount, you're not going to gain the same size simply because you don't have the same hormonal makeup as we do. So please, all women across the world, I want to broadcast this. Lifting heavy weights is not going to hurt you. It's not going to turn you into a big bodybuilder type of, uh, type of person. What it will do is the following. It's going to give you a better lean muscle tone. It's going to strengthen your bones, which is very important for women since so many of you are suffering from bone mineral density loss, leading to potential osteoporosis, especially if you drink dairy or cow's milk. And the other thing is that it just keeps you strong, right? You wanna be strong. You wanna be able to carry your kids, your groceries, whatever it is that you carry. You don't do that. You don't get to that stage by lifting two pound dumbbells. So think of lifting heavy weights for six to 10 repetitions. Now I'm not gonna go into program design in this video, but just understand if it's six repetitions, you choose a weight that you can only lift six times. It doesn't mean you're six reps and you can keep going, but you stop. It's like six, like done, okay? So six reps is the maximum you can do, which in this case, which means that you can choose a weight that only allows you to do six reps, okay? If you're going with a 10 reps, uh, with a 10 rep set, same idea. It would be a slightly lower weight, but again, it's only a weight that allows you to lift it 10 times. Very important. So these 15, 20, 25 repetition ranges is a waste of time. Please drill that into your head, okay? Very important to understand this because uh, there's so many benefits, so, so many benefits, and it's so awesome to see women that are fit and toned, and you can actually see a bit of muscle definition, not to this, like, you don't have to become a bodybuilder by any means, but just to have some degree of tone and strength is just so attractive, and it, it's just such a great um, sign of health and vitality. So please lift heavier weights, do it obviously with great form, follow a structured program to help you do that, and please put away the lower little weights you're not gonna turn into a big, massive person. If you do wanna gain weight, if you wanna put on size, if you're a very thin, petite woman, understand you're gonna have to train properly, okay? Heavier weights really fatigue the muscles. 
and you're gonna have to eat a lot. So there will be a little bit of fat that comes with that, but again, you can always break up your training into different phases where you can kind of cut on, uh, do a, bit, a little bit more of a cut so you're burning fat, and then another phase where you're doing a little bit more kind of muscle gaining. But this, again, this is going, I don't wanna go into too, too many tangents. The, the, the fundamental rule here, or the fundamental idea, is that lifting heavier weights is important for both men and women, especially for women, just because they're so, uh, so scared of it. And, uh, and I think that's really important to, um, to be aware of that it's, it's okay, okay? So, uh, thank you very much for that question, Julie. Hopefully it helps you out. And if you guys have any other questions, join me on Facebook. The URL is below this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.